Hey, what's going on guys? Bob here. So, it feels like it's been a, uh, a really long week since the last video I made, and uh, I guess it's been the same seven days as always, but I did get a ton of movies this week, so uh, I'm just going to jump right into it. So it's Tuesday, so I did my normal thing and I went to uh, went to Bull Moose, um, and I'm going to show off what I got there. I didn't get a lot of movies this week, because honestly, they cut down their VHS, unfortunately, in favor of uh, Christmas CDs and stuff, because it is... Unfortunately, it's getting to that time of year, so I didn't get a lot. Um, but what I did get, I'll run through really quick here. Um, I did pick up a copy of The Firm, which I've been wanting to watch recently. One of the old VHS tapes that I picked up had an ad for this, and I hadn't seen this before. So uh, I did grab that. Um, I picked up both Crocodile Dundee, the first and the second. Uh, so that was a pretty cool find. Is there, an, is there another Crocodile Dundee after this? I honestly don't remember. Um... But man, I haven't seen these movies in years, and uh, you know they were uh, they. I think they it got more mild because I know that this one was PG-13 and this one's only PG. Not that that really matters too much, but uh, these are fun movies, so grab those. Um, I did pick up a, uh, a British uh, the British version of the live action uh, La uh, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. See, it's Lewis. I haven't seen this one before, but I heard good things. Um, I have seen obviously. The newer version of The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe that came out a few years ago, um, I didn't see any of the ones that came after it, but I, uh, it, it's one of my all-time favorite stories, you know, for, I'm not religious one way or the other, and this is a very Christian story, I mean, it's an allegory, obviously, but it's, um, but I always love this story, I think it's great, so, I, uh, I want to check this one out and see if it's better than the, um, see if it's better than the movie that just came out a few years ago. It's gotta be better than the cartoon. If you've never seen the cartoon version, uh, that is horrible. Uh, I hate it anyway. Um, I didn't even know notice that this was the unrated version, but uh, grabbed a copy of Demi Moore and Striptease because Demi Moore used to be attractive. Uh, you know, now she's old. Um, you know, and not that you can't be attractive once you get old, but I don't know if Demi Moore had a bunch of work done or whatever. But she looked normal, you know, back hit, back in this day. Uh, but now she just looks kind of weird. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, haven't seen this before. It's the unrated version. I'll check that one out at some point in time. Uh, probably alone. I'm not sure how interested my girlfriend would be in that one, but um, did pick up a copy of the movie Aspen Extreme, which is Top Gun on the ski slopes. I've never seen this movie. Um, they had it at the Dollar Tree recently on Blu-ray for a dollar, and I don't know what stopped me from picking it up, but. Um, yeah, I've never seen... This is brand new, by the way. This is never even... never. It's still in the shrink wrap and everything. It's the Top Gun of the Slopes, says the Seattle Times. We'll check it out. I mean, uh, I'm pretty sure that that's Chris O'Donnell, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, as in... Uh, it looks like him on the front, anyway. If that's not... If that's not Chris O'Donnell, it's some dude who looks just like him. I guess this movie would be before he was actually acting in movies. Yeah, it's nobody, I guess. I've never heard of anybody in this movie. Well, at any rate... Looks like it looks it looks like Chris O'Donnell. I'm kind of glad, I guess, maybe that it isn't Chris O'Donnell, because Chris O'Donnell, of course, played uh, Robin in the earlier Batman movies, and uh, he's a horrible actor, and he doesn't make movies at all anymore, as near as I can tell. And uh, yeah, I always looked at that cover and thought it was him, but uh, who knows? Anyway, continuing on, uh, the last VHS type that I picked up is the Brady Bunch movie. Love this movie. It's hilarious. Um, didn't really care very much for the second one, but uh, I did uh, I did want to grab this one because I think this movie is hilarious. I'm glad that when they made this movie, they knew that they were making fun of themselves as making this movie. If you haven't seen this, if you're a fan of the Brady Bunch show or you're not a fan, you should still check this movie out. Um, and I picked up a handful of HD DVDs, first time in a while, um, you know, that I, that I grabbed any because I hadn't, uh, you know, they just didn't really have anything that I wanted. Um, but this week I picked up a few, so, uh, even though Halloween is over, of course, I still love the horror movie, so I did pick up a, a copy of The Reaping, uh, this is with Hilary Swank, never seen this one, but, um, uh, I hear decent things, you know, I'll give it a shot, and, uh, we'll see how that one works out. Uh, I did pick up another movie that I've never seen, is Out of Sight with George Clooney, don't know much about this at all, um, you know, I mean, I know it's, it's got a pretty decent cast, George Clooney, Bing Rames. Uh, Don Cheadle is in this, and you know, and then again we've got uh, we've got Jennifer Lopez. So who knows? We'll see what that's like here. Um, I picked this up because I I bought this on VHS and the VHS didn't work, uh, which is not uncommon with VHS. Uh, but I wanted to see it because I'm a Christian Slater fan. I talked about it in one of my other videos. That's Mobsters, and uh, so that's why I picked that. I'm just replacing the VHS um, because I want to watch this movie. 
And then the last one I picked up, a uh, pretty basic copy of Tomb Raider. Haven't seen this in years. Loved the video game when it came out. It was hilarious. Uh, movies, movie's pretty good. I mean, it's watchable uh, for, for an action movie. Um, but, you know, it's not my favorite movie, but I didn't own it, so I grabbed that too. Um, and then this was, uh, this was waiting for me when I got home. So I recently, and I forgot that I'd even bought these. Um, but I picked up some, uh, some laser discs off of, uh, off of a dude on Craigslist. So, um, actually, you know what, I'm going to save those for the end, actually, because let me pick up, let me just run through the other, the other VHS tapes that I picked up really quick. Um, like I said in my other video, uh, my girlfriend and I, we went away, uh, we went away for the weekend, and we, uh, we went to Spooky World, which is one of the biggest haunted houses, uh, you know, it's an, uh, it's an attraction, it's not a haunted house, literally, it's a bunch of haunted houses, um, uh, in New England, and it's, uh, it was great fun, but while we were away, I did, uh, st we did, uh, end up stopping at a couple of stores, and I found some VHS tapes, um, uh, actually, most of these I found at a bull moose in that area, um, but I picked up a copy of uh, Scarface, this is the special edition, uh, anniversary edition on VHS. Um, I picked up a copy of the Beverly Hillbillies, which I have not uh, I've seen in a long time. Uh, you know this is uh, this movie is hilarious, and again, just like the just like the Brady Bunch movie, you know they 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 knew that they were making fun of the movie, or you know making fun of the show kind of when they made the movie, and it and it makes the movie work really well, and it's really a lot of fun. Um, I picked up this movie because I've never seen it before. It's Blue Steel with Jamie Lee Curtis, where she plays a you know a rough and tough cop. I guess sounds like a uh, it sounds like a pretty decent movie. I like uh, action movies and I like Jamie Lee Curtis, so we'll see what we'll see how that goes there. Um, this movie I, I remember liking when it came out because it was pretty violent, but I watched it again recently and I, I fell asleep during it, so I don't know. Maybe it's not as good as I thought, but uh, it was on TV and that's a copy of Ghost Ship. Uh, so I figured I'd, uh, I'd give that another shot here because, uh, like I said, I love horror movies, so why not, right? It's got some cool effects in there. You can see on the back some of the makeup effects and stuff. I remember it having some cool, some cool deaths and things in it, so that's why I picked that one up. It's Logan back there. He wishes he was outside even though he just came in. I don't know. Um, this movie, okay, I didn't actually buy this movie. I won this, uh, in a contest that, uh, you know, Dave, uh, David at Cinema Sickness, he does an Instagram contest every day, pretty much, where he posts, um, you know, he posts a, a really sh close-up shot of, uh, the front of, like, a DVD or a Blu-ray or VHS tape, and if you guess it, he just sends you a free VHS tape, and the movie that he sent me was Payback, which is, uh, which is kind of, uh, you know, coincidental because I was just talking about this in one of my other videos and how I hadn't seen this one. So I don't know if he happened to just pick this at random or if he actually watches my videos. I have no idea. Um, I highly doubt that. But at any rate, uh, payback. So never seen this one. Um, and this is supposed to be pretty good, so. Uh, okay, Hi, let's see what else I got here. Um, so I picked up a copy of uh, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind. I already have this on Blu-ray. The only reason I grabbed this is because um, it's, uh, it's a VHS screener, and you guys know I like to collect those, so that was pretty cool there. Um, you know, I picked up this movie because it has uh, fond memories for me uh, in my childhood. This movie played at the Twin Theater, and when I was growing up, of course, I've said this before, you know, my parents worked at the movie theater, then I worked at the movie theater, and my brother and I, we watched this movie uh, a few times, I don't know if he'll remember it, but we watched this movie Mr. Baseball uh, with Tom Selleck played at the Twin, and it's a funny, uh, you know, it's a funny movie, uh, you know, it's about, a, you know, an aging ball player who uh, gets... Uh, you know, sent to Japan to play ball, and he's got to learn the whole, you know, the game over there basically is different, and also the whole culture and stuff, and of course he falls in love uh, with uh, with the manager, with the baseball manager's daughter and everything. It's a good it's a good story. It's fun, and, uh, you know, it was back in the day, Tom Selleck was really, uh, you know, this was a good movie. I enjoyed that, so let's grab that one. And then the last, uh, or oh, the second to last movie I grabbed uh, is Paradise with Melanie Griffith and Don Johnson. I haven't seen this movie in years, but I remember we owned this uh, when I was a kid, and I actually like it. It's a good, uh, you know, it's kind of a heavier drama. It's got Elijah Wood in it, and uh, I enjoyed this. Apparently so did whoever owned it, because they wrote very good on it in pen. You know, and th that's not the first time I've seen that. Apparently people have, have a habit of... Uh, writing right on the cover what, how they felt about the movie. It's like, I don't I, I don't understand that, but uh, in this case, they said it's very good. It is very good, and I grabbed that. And then the last VHS that I grabbed, uh, I've never heard of this movie, but it's not super, super old. It's maybe about 10 years old. I mean, it's obviously kind of old because it's on VHS. If I Die Before I Wake. Um, don't know anything about this. It's just a, uh, apparently it's just like a, an invasion movie. And it sounded pretty good, and, and, and to be honest, the reason I bought it is because it's all rated for strong, brutal violence, including rape and unrelenting terror and language. And that's just the kind of, that's just the kind of shit I like. I like over-the-top violent horror movies. It's just, 
that, that's the kind of movies that I like. I don't know. It's how I've always been. Um, I guess I'm looking for something to shock me, and it's rare. Um, but, you know, just I, just because it's that violent doesn't mean it's going to be good. But at least I'll give it a shot, and we'll see. Um, so that's why I picked this one up. Um, and anyway, so on to the laser discs that I got. So like I was saying, I, I did forget that I even bought these because I, I ordered them from this guy a while ago off of Craigslist. And uh, they were just here waiting for me when I got home. So this is kind of cool. I got some stuff. Uh, and these apparently, a few of them came from the Northeastern, uh, as in the college in Boston, uh, their their personal library that they're obviously not using anymore. So I did get uh, Toy Story on Laserdisc. And uh, this is kind of neat. I, I'm, I'm really happy that I was able to get this one because... Uh, Normally, this one's kind of expensive, even the collectible. Obviously, the the case, you know, Northeastern put some stickers on it. It's not as good of shape, but I checked the discs, and they all look good, and I'm hoping they play. But So I got Toy Story. That's one of them. And I also got a copy of Memphis Belle, which is uh, probably one of my all-time favorite, um, you know, war movies. I, I absolutely love this movie. Whoop, my phone texting, and it vibrated the phone right away. Um, anyway, I love this movie, and I haven't seen it in a while, so uh, it was actually... Um, you know, one of the first war movies I ever saw, and I and I love this. It's a good, it's a good movie. It's not super violent. It's only PG-13, um, but it is a good. It's a great, uh, it's a great war movie. There. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite comedies. This movie is hilarious. The Bird Cage, uh, The Bird Cage, uh, which is a remake of La Caja Fall, uh, both of which are hilarious. I love this movie. Um, La Caja Fall uh, is hilarious, uh, but this movie. Um, you know, they're, they're both really, really funny. I don't know which one I like better, but I love Robin Williams' his old stuff. And this movie is great. Nathan Lane is fantastic in this movie. Uh, and you should definitely check out The Birdcage if you haven't seen that. Uh, this is, uh, this is a great movie that I haven't watched in a while, but, uh, you really have to like the song that they, that's in this movie if you want to watch it a bunch of times. Tom Hanks' uh, directorial debut, That Thing You Do. Fun movie. Great soundtrack. Uh, but really, they do play the song, the title song, That Thing You Do, probably plays in the movie at least ten times. Um, but it is a good song, it's catchy, uh, and this is a fun movie, and I haven't watched it in a while, so uh, I was, uh, yeah, I mean, the, these movies, I bought all of these movies, and I, you know, it was 20 bucks, including the shipping, so I think I got a good deal on them. Obviously, he just didn't want them anymore, as most people don't, so. Um, and then the last one that I got from him, got a copy of Ghost. Uh, you know, like I've said before, if you're not a fan of this movie, I don't think we can be friends, because this movie is great. You know, I don't know what people think when they look at this movie, if they think it's going to be something completely... Obviously, it's a romantic movie, but this movie is is just spot-on fucking perfect movie. I love this movie. Um, and I only owned it on VHS, and now I got it on, and I've got it on Laserdisc as well. So those are ones that I got, uh, I got from the guy uh, that had shipped them out to me. And then uh, while I was away this weekend, I did find a few other ones, and I got the best deal I think I'll probably ever get on Laserdisc. These were... Uh, these were uh, two for two for two dollars or two for three dollars. I got these, so uh, no, sorry, they were a dollar a piece or three for two dollars. So it was four dollars for these six laser discs. I got such a good deal. Um, I wish that I, they'd had the they'd had uh, uh, you know the, <laughs> the other one, but I got two out of the three Indiana Jones. I got Raiders and I got Last Crusade. So I guess I'm. Uh, just missing Temple, uh, and I can probably find that at some point in time. But uh, these ones are in a little rough shape. I'm hoping that I can clean them up because the, the sleeve is missing on one of the discs. But um, I have the feeling that they'll still play, just like a CD. I mean, they're not scratched, but they basically work like a CD. So if they if I just clean them up, I think they'll good. So those were uh, those were two of them. And then uh, the other movie that I picked out to go with along with those, JK. Um, absolutely loved this movie when I was a kid. I saw it so many times in the theater, which Probably more than most kids can say. I mean, it's an epic Oliver Stone movie. I want to say that the movie is, uh, you know, almost three hours long. Uh, oh, God, it's, yeah, 189 minutes. So what is that? 120, 180, yeah, it's over three hours long. Um, so, I mean, I saw this movie a bunch of times in the theater, and I absolutely loved it. This movie has the significance of being the first time since JFK was assassinated to show the footage of JFK being assassinated. Um, it was very, very difficult, apparently, for them to get that. Um, but this is the first time it was shown publicly, and I remember that being a big deal when this movie came out. And I'm such a huge history buff, um, and I absolutely love this movie. So uh, it was definitely worth grabbing there. I don't think I own this on anything else, so um, that was a good find. Um, this movie I just got for fun, because honestly, I needed to grab one more movie to, to kind of fill up the, fill up the space. Uh, Sean Connery and the Hunt for Red October, which obviously I think I actually had just... Uh, I think I just got this on VHS in one of the other 
videos that I just made. I have I just got this on VHS, so um, but I needed one more, and this was the best option in there, so I grabbed that. Um, I did pick up uh, Tom Cruise in The Color of Money, which uh, and Paul the Newman, of course, Paul the Newman in uh, Color of Money. Um, this one is this one's pretty good. I actually prefer um, you know prefer the the first one. God, what was the name? man? Now I'm blanking, and that's horrible. Um, this one's a little bit more dry than. Is this the sequel? Holy shit, I'm losing my mind today. Anyway, obviously, um, The Hustler, right, ah, Paul Newman and The Hustler, yeah, the first one was The Hustler, this is The Color of Money, The Hustler's better, this one's a little bit more dry, um, but it's a fun movie, and, uh, it's, you know, early Tom Cruise I liked, and it's, you know, you gotta love Paul the Newman. And then the last one that I picked up, and boy, this was expensive when they sold it originally in 1995, uh, Clint Eastwood in the, in the Line of Fire, which is probably my favorite, second favorite Clint Eastwood movie now after, uh, after uh, uh, Gran Torino, but I, when I grew up, I saw, again, I saw this movie so many times in the theater. Um, I absolutely loved it. I still love it. It's a great, you know, suspense movie. John Malkovich is, is fucking perfect in this movie, uh, as he is in most movies. And Eastwood, you know, when he was still, you know, this was, this movie's got to be close to 15 years old, if not, maybe, give, or, give or take. Um, you know, and he played an aging FBI agent, you know, uh, or a federal agent, you know, for, uh, well, God, who protects the president? C is that CIA? Poof. It's been a long morning, guys. Sorry. Anyway, he plays a, an aging uh, federal agent, and, uh, you know, but he was still fairly young. I mean, he's old, but he, he was old when the movie was made, but he was certainly in better shape than he portrayed in the movie. It's funny, because now, you know, 15, 20 years later, now he's playing aging characters again, and it kind of seems to make more sense. But, and anyway, this movie is fantastic, and uh, so I, that's why I grabbed that one. Um, but anyway, yeah, I got a ton of movies here, guys, and I'm sorry, uh, sorry that this went on so long. Um, I did, uh, I did, uh, you know, didn't expect to get so much while I was out and about. I'm kind of, uh, I'm kind of glad that I did. Um, the only other thing I picked up while, while I was out is not a movie at all. I picked up a copy of the Doyle CD, Abominator, huge. Everybody who knows me knows that I'm a huge Cancer Slug fan, and I'm just throwing this out there. Doyle, uh, this is the same, it's the lead singer of Cancer Slug, is in this band. Doyle from the original Misfits, so if you were a punk fan you may want to check this out uh even better this is a metal album this is a, a very it's a rock kind of a thrash metal um but i had to pick it up i bought i i bought it the day it came out as a digital download and i had to grab it again because cancer slug is my life pretty much as far as music goes and it's the same uh, same singer same guy so i gotta support the support the bands but anyway not that's not a movie at all so i'm not gonna ramble on that um but anyway that's what i got guys so uh anyway uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully you saw something you liked in here, or something that made you remind you want to go out and watch one of these movies. Um, but anyway, do the, uh, do the normal YouTube stuff, rate, subscribe, and all that jazz, and, uh, I'll see you guys next Tuesday, because, uh, this weekend I'm just totally finally relaxing and not doing a damn thing, so it'll be nice to sleep in, but, uh, anyway, you guys have a great week, and, uh, see you then.